Authentication TB303 verified. We don't care. I'd swear he says, deploy the defecator. <laughs> Emergency! Emergency! Evacuate immediately! Yeah, so this is an exact shot from a Star Trek film. Like, come on, man. Unidentified object detected. Initiating scans. Scans indicate that the object is a probe of Togren origin. Incoming message. Believer. It is I, Togra, who speaks to you now in my time of need. I can only hope that the followers still remember, but without you, my fate is sealed. I've discovered something wondrous which may secure the fate of our people for all eternity. Where is our Okama Game Sphere? Only I am trapped here on a world torn by the Imperium Freedom Guard War, and I fear it is not long before I fall victim to the terror which surrounds me. This probe has been programmed to search for believers. Should some tragedy occur, it would seal my fate. Locked inside is a one-way portal to the past. Yet it can be used only once. So you must prove yourself. We're missing out on some quality video game time right now. If you still believe, then accept this challenge and return to save me. We don't care. For I will bear our people to a new plane of existence. Probe interface established. Authentication TB-303 verified. We don't care. Accessing probe data stores. Data indicates probe origin as a small planet in the SK system. Elapsed time since probe launch estimated at 213 years. Can we please just get back to playing our video game, please? In my childhood, this particular format of video game was essentially cloned as much as Jez Ball was, or Chip's Challenge, or any Match 3 game after Bejeweled, I believe, was the first one, uh, came out. Everyone clones stuff, so this game is much more akin to Warcraft, Command and Conquer. It's basically the same package just with a different facade, in this case, sci-fi, or sci-fi, as I sometimes call it. So, we're looking at the menu. I wasn't really that big of a fan of this menu. This also happens, incidentally, to be the first level. So I'm trying to kind of just feel my way around here. Similar to, say, the peasants in Warcraft, you have to send out these truck things for resource management basically. So that one up there is going to that water puddle and then depositing said water somewhere else. I can sell water and I believe it helps me basically just gain buildings or train the peoples or whatever. So typically when I play a game like this, I like to just really set myself up pretty. So before I even venture out that much, I at least build a turret as I have here. I will also at least train some fighting forces because I don't want to just go out, you know, uh, with something that, like one of these construction guys with something that matters to me but can't fight. Why they can't fight, I don't know. That incidentally was a nice change to Warcraft when the peasants could fight. That was cool. Unit completed.
Unit generation in progress. Unit completed. Since this was released in 1997, it has some advanced controls here. I can add waypoints, I can basically dictate the literal path that someone takes. In games like Warcraft, you could have someone guard something, but you could only pick the two points that they pace back and forth from, and if they're long enough, if they're far away enough, I mean, uh, they take some convoluted routes. And the other thing too is they might run into things I can remember even in Warcraft 3. You couldn't reach certain terrain, that also works in this game. Uh, essentially there was elevation, and if you just told the computer to send something over that elevation, it wouldn't necessarily know to go all the way around. So these were some nice additions to this one. They know their ways around, generally speaking. And yeah, good time is had by all. So you can see that I'm making new units and I'm just starting to kind of scout at this point. And you can see how the menu works. I'm just not a fan of all these sub menus. I wish it could all just be in one place and it would just be easier, right? The nice thing though is you don't necessarily have to click on the buildings. And I hate to keep comparing this to Warcraft, but I think it's something that we would all have in common. Uh, not World of Warcraft, of course, but say up to Warcraft 3. In Warcraft, you had to click on the building. I don't think you could actually find, like, do a search for a building. So you just had to remember where all this jazz was. So here it looks like I'm essentially planning an attack. So yeah, let's watch some actual gameplay. Let's move! Let's roll. Right away. Unit completed. Yo. Insufficient credits. Now that I've scouted, I'm going to try and grow a big army. So that way, when I go up there and take over their area, I'll have enough people or at least enough force. But it seems like in all of these games, you always have to do several attacks and the enemy tends to have better, just better everything than you. I'm currently waiting for these spider bike things, which are cool. And again, I hadn't played this game for a very, very long time. So there was kind of a learning curve to this too. I attempted to play the second level and have lost several times. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game as a kid. I played this game as a kid in obviously the late 90s on, I believe, Windows 95. There are better formatted ones, at least in terms of story and gameplay even. I would cite StarCraft as one that broke the mold a little bit, and I appreciated that when I started playing it. And... Here, as with any other game, I'm trying to gain resources before I attack my enemy, but unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Where to? here I'm using the kill the king's peasants theory the idea is that I kill the resource gatherers I eliminate his ability to collect resources and that will help me to build up more armies so right now I'm using essentially disposable units I should be putting more in production but I'm not but still, I think I'm, I guess you could say I'm at the end of the scouting stage here. Right away. 
right away. Let's roll. Let's roll. Hit it. Yeah. Let's roll. Mission successful. Yo. Construction ah. underway. Yeah. All right. Construction underway. Yo. Uh -huh. Construction complete. New units available. Unit generation in progress. One thing you'll notice is the audio quality is very good because a CD at the time had more storage capacity than the so-called floppy disks. Even the smaller floppy disks had less storage capacity. So I used to play a Dungeons and Dragons game and there was a maze involved and anytime you moved in that maze you had to put a different disk into the computer. So it got really old really fast. Here though you get good audio quality because these CDs held more data and you also get good basically just an all-around better video game and they even had games on floppies that they later released on CD-ROM a famous example would be Sam and Max hit the road because they had one that was just only there there was no dialogue the dialogue was just text on the screen for the disc version and when they used the CD they actually had real dialogue on it and we used to call them the talky version of course a reference to the first talking films or films that had pre-recorded sound synced up to them Unit completed. Unit completed. Reporting. Unit completed. Reporting. Unit completed. Mark it. Move in. So I got this new unit, so, so I, I got, got that going, going for me, which is, which is nice. Move in. Construction complete. On new the way. Unit available. Move in. Unit completed. On the way. Copy. Moving. Unit completed. Unit generation in progress. Unit completed. Yeah. Unit completed. So second verse same as the first in the sense that it's all about getting the resources and then attacking the enemy. You saw that I avoided a tower that they had because I'm more interested in gathering resources. So I have these two guarding the water here while we sit here and wait for this moron to build this resource thing. Yeah, when I was a kid, sometimes you had to play video games uphill both ways. Unit completed. Move in. Copy. Unit completed. Unit completed. Base under attack. Enemy engaged. Copy. Unit completed. Unit completed. Copy. Unit Set to go. Completed. Right away. Just as I'm about to send out more scouts, you can see there's just more annoyance attacks here. So this is a lesson right here in put your two barracks together so that way you can access things easier. This was always an issue for me with these games. I don't know why I didn't do it here, but when I play Warcraft and other games that I'm more familiar with, I usually put my training centers together so that way I don't have to go that far. So like here, these two training centers are just together, but there's another one out there. Right away! Get in! Unit generation in progress. Unit complete. Unit complete. 
seems we've established a front for trying to fight for this particular resource. You can see my turret strategy there and just putting people behind it. That's basically what we're doing is just trying to protect this resource and um, this building that's about to be built. I typically will sometimes do like an entire row of turrets and just lure my enemy into it. That's the nice part about these particular games is the computer tries to play attrition, whereas you can play more like Sun Tzu, generally speaking, with this. You can avoid attacking things if you know they're there. You can go around them, and that was like a thing that Sun Tzu uh, said. There's another game, I cannot remember the name of it, um, for Nintendo 64, and I really liked it because you you didn't it wasn't just about attrition so in certain circumstances this game is only about attrition but at least you can skip over certain things it's not like warcraft where you have to destroy all enemy units what do you want Unit completed. Set to go. Let's roll. Unit completed. Unit completed. What do you want? Base under attack. Construction complete. Uh -huh. Here it seems that I'm using a watered down version of my usual defensive tactics, which is put right. a few turrets around and have units in front of them and those units in front of them hopefully will lure enemies in and you can see that i put that particular turret to the south basically to widen my range of protection right so this was a time when you couldn't buy coins i mean there were indeed cheats you could give yourself a lot of uh, credits essentially but yeah, it didn't really go beyond that. And you still generally would have to wait, even if you had speed up cheats, you'd still have to wait a few seconds for something to happen, as was demonstrated in my video that I did on Warcraft 2. So now it seems I'm going for this turret, which should be easy with these guys. So let's see what happens. Completed. Where to? Right away. I'm a one trick pony with right these away. games, so generally what you just saw is what I normally do, and then I just go ahead and scout with my defeating force. I should also have backups here, but of course I don't. So what I should have done is just move them all back. Oh, I did that. Okay. And I'm guessing that I'm just going to let everybody camp out here and defend whatever we need to defend for a while. And basically, it just goes from there. So, the enemy in all of these games tends to just harass you. They won't really go on for an all-out strike because their mission is defense as well. So here we can see there's one dude that came over to harass us, right? So... Sometimes I'll just build up armies essentially on the border of something and it looks like kind of that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Completed. Let's roll. Unit 
I lose and I believe I do my mistake here is I don't have powerful enough backup I have other backup there but that backup needs to stay in order to protect the rest of my territory so having just these guys is going to fail I should have made more tanks and used them as a trap so I wouldn't say it's a complete fail here but it's it's uh it's not looking good right now. Let's see what happens. Unit generation in progress. Unit completed. Unit completed. Hit it. Let's roll. Unit completed. Enemy engaged. Unit completed. Unit completed. Base under attack. Unit completed. So because I essentially let the enemy lure me into attacking them, which is what happened with the previous attack, I'm now kind of just stuck and I didn't want to wait because I thought there would be more and there are. So here I took essentially some heavy duty stuff and brought it up there. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's see. Note that I have basically no forces guarding this joint anymore, which is why I'm building more turrets in hopes that if the enemy does come through the same route he did before, I could at least protect my resources and my buildings. Pretty sound strategy. Unit completed. Unit completed. Unit completed. Unit complete. Set to go. Construction complete. Unit Let's complete. Move. Unit complete. Yeah. That my turret strategy pays off in the short run essentially with zero forces guarding that particular area the other thing too is when you have multiple towers like that the enemy has to concentrate on just one or two and he'll suffer heavy casualties so 
they could take that particular one out but then they're gonna have to go for the one after it that cluster of three and so on so this makes me more formidable as an enemy even when i have minimal to no forces available of course right now we're just waiting for the training to happen right away <laughs> Unit completed. Unit completed. Unit Ready. completed. Unit completed. Yeah. Where to? Let's Unit roll. Completed. Don't know if you guys saw that. I set them up to guard that particular area, and that's kind of a little border that we've established already it's where they come in to harass me and it's where i go in to attempt to take them out so that's why i put them there they're essentially just guarding the joint let's move unit completed unit completed unit right away completed Unit completed. Where to? Unit completed. Unit completed. Enemy engaged. Unit destroyed. Unit completed. seems I'm using these forces here to scout around and check stuff out. I didn't know if there was a second enemy. I'm guessing that's why I was doing this. So the idea is to just poke around before the computer decides that the level is over. And to just show you guys more map as well. Oh, look at that. Just when you think you won. Unit completed. Where to? Hit it!
control. That is Dark Rain. I loved playing it as a kid. It's fun to play as an adult. It is a more challenging game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.